Hey, hey, if you don't calm down, I'll have to lock you in the worst cell in this place. I can't do that. This is unfair. I shouldn't be here. Let me go. Oh, really? Everyone who comes here says the same thing. According to them, they are innocent. I can't calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, because I won't. Let me go, bastard. All right, enough. You will spend the night in the most horrible place in this prison. No, no, no. I, I will calm down. I'm really sorry, officer. Forgive me. Okay, just this time. You are accused of stealing the wallet of one of the most important men in this country. I know, but that's not true. I didn't steal anything. You're making a mistake here. Please. You were in the same place he was. You were cleaning his office, right? Yes, I was. I was the one in charge of cleaning his office. But I didn't do it. Listen, I always go there to clean his office every day. I am not new at that job. I have cleaned more offices and never had this problem. Let me go. I can't do that. I just know I got a call yesterday and a wallet was reported stolen. When I got there, you were the only person in the office and it was closed. The office was closed. That wallet had a check for $50,000. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's what he said, but I have no idea. I don't know anything about that money. I only went there to clean the office. I need that job. It's all I have. Exactly. You needed the money. That's why you had to take that money. Right? Sir, I am poor. That's true. But I've never stolen anything in my life. I have always done my job well, and I have never made mistakes. And I have never stolen anything. I will never do something like that. My mother has taught me to be honest and honorable. Seriously. Why should I believe you? When I got in there, you were the only person. $50,000 is a lot of money, son. Why don't you give it back to the owner? I'm sure that if you do it, apologize and talk to him, he may consider withdrawing the complaint. Sir, if I had the money, I would return it immediately, but I don't. I am innocent. I'm sorry, I can't help you, but he wants to talk to you. He's here. If you want advice, this is the last chance you'll have to fix things. Think about it. But I didn't do it. How could I solve this problem? Oh my god. Hello, boy. Are you ready to spend many years in this place? Poor of you. Hello, Mr. Robinson. Please, I beg you. I didn't steal your wallet. I swear. Oh, come on. A poor boy like you, you needed that money, so you just took it. 
It's $50,000. Son, that's a lot of money. Did you know it wasn't my money? It was money intended to pay some government workers. You should not do that. But I didn't do anything. I didn't take the wallet. I haven't seen that wallet before. Kid, you shouldn't do those kind of things. Stealing is not something good. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Please remove the complaint against me. I do not deserve this. I can help you look for that wallet if you want. It has to be somewhere. I can help you. <laughs> no, you can't help me. You have to stay in prison. I'm sorry, son. I know you didn't steal that money. <laughs> I am not that stupid. Do you think I could lose $50,000 just like that? <laughs> but what? I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, I don't get it. Of course, I know you didn't steal that wallet. It's $50,000. It's a lot of money for you. Not even you would know what to do with so much money. <laughs> then I don't understand. If you knew I didn't steal that wallet, why am I being accused of that? Because I needed that money for me. I need a new sports car for my son. Yeah, his birthday will be the next month and he wants a sports car. Well, I will give it to him. So you took that money to buy your son a car and you accused me? I can't believe it. Really? Because it is not the first time I do something like this. I always do it. That's what we do, son. How do you think we can buy such expensive houses and cars? And it is easy to accuse people like you. You are poor. You need the money. Of course, nobody will believe you are innocent. I'm really sorry, son, but that's how things work. Please, I beg you, let me go. I didn't do anything wrong. Please. I have to work hard every day to help my mother and my brother and sisters. Please. I won't say anything to the police or anyone, but please withdraw the complaint. I need to go back to work. I just want to keep working. That's all. Please, sir. Mm, let me think about it. Mm, no, I won't do it. You have to be intelligent. Someday, maybe you will understand. Or maybe not. If you want to be successful in life, you have to be willing to do certain things, Song. Now, I have to leave. And don't you dare say anything to anyone, because they won't believe you. I will believe you. I heard everything. And you will go to prison. You thieving and corrupt politician. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us. Or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.